What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. As we know, Brother Russell Simmons no longer lives in the United States. He lives in Bali. Bali's very nice. I've never been there. But because of these allegations against him and what may happen to him if he stays in the States, he might be out here like Diddy or he might be out here like R. Kelly. All right. And again, I want to basically talk about the situations accused of him. So there's a lady alleging that he raped her in the 90s. In the court documents, this unknown lady says she stopped by Simmons' apartment to get his approval for a rough cut of a video. She accused Simmons of using a rest and move to pin her down on his bed. And then she says the assault took place. I'm reading this according to the media takeout. Ms. Doe rejected his advance and told him to get off and stop several times. She told him she was serious and she meant him, but Ms. Doe was forcefully pinned, could not move under his weight, and Mr. Simmons would not listen to her. Would not listen to her. I, I want to talk about what Brother Faison Love said a few months ago. Women who accuse men of this, why don't they do this? Why don't they call the police? All right? Why don't they call the police? Why would you wait 30 or 40 years? Now, I'm not trying to say that this cannot happen, but here's what I want you guys to understand. You guys want to be rich, want to be successful. You're in business. The worst business is entertainment. Wanna know why I asked the worst business? I don't care if it's YouTube. I don't care if it's music or movies. Do you guys know what women or people will do to get next to you? I'm not trying to say that men do not do these things. Cause they do. The men can take advantage of women in these industries. We can say that it, that it happens. But because people will do anything to get on. You can have a lady says, hey, I want to come to your apartment and deliver something. Immediately, you have to say no. Let me tell you how I, how I try to move. If there are people that I know in the industry um, that I'm talking to, that I work with, if it's somebody that has a wife, I feel very comfortable talking to the husband. Listen, um, I'm going to buy X, Y, and Z from your wife or from your aunt or daughter or whatever, I don't want them to be able to say, I talked to him on the phone or he met me and they, no, no. I'm not even gonna give an opportunity to do that, okay? I want to talk to the husband, all right? Men have to understand that when you start getting money, if he's guilty, that's one thing, but there are cases in which a man is not guilty and a woman says something. You got to understand, man, you can't let chicks come to your house when you're rich that you don't know. I ain't talking about like, you know, this is a, somebody, you know, this is one of your girls you've been dealing with for a long time. I'm talking about people in the industry. They're coming over to see any, 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 any industry. They can come by and say 20 years later, well, oh, he tried this with me. Make him prove it. Okay. Russell Simmons thought, and it's why I honestly believe. These people are out here really believing that these folks like them. And that's how folks make you feel when you're rich. Oh, they'll do anything. And, and, and you know, you've been living this body all your life. You can believe like, hey, she likes me. I'm a great person. I'm a great guy. I'm a hard worker. That's probably not why people like you. That's not why they like you. People like you for what you can do for them. Don't believe me? Ask Lizzo. Lizzo, Lizzo, Lizzo. Ask her, okay? People like what you can do for them. You need to understand that and stop being so stupid. Nobody cares about what you can do for them, bro. It's the truth. They don't care. As long as you know that, that's fine. If you're dealing with women according to the business that you're in, what you need to do, brother, is you need to say, you know what? Let me go through the channel. You want to bring something over to my house? 
you know what don't bring it over here leave it at the office i'll get it try to com- communicate with women the least that you can the least in a professional setting right you need to take your stuff somewhere else do it don't have anybody come to your house alone that you don't know you're asking for trouble you're asking for problems and you don't need those problems you know these guys in the 90s in a different era man you know that was cool back then you can you could you could line chicks up bro i mean like back then it was a known thing you can have as much sex as you wanted and all of that you could do it back then man that, that wasn't but now you know people got a lot of guys are being judged for how what was going on in the 90s and what's happening now what happened in the 90s and the 80s man it was free will even look at sports look at football if you watch 80s football guys like lawrence taylor reggie white you know ronnie lot yeah, those guys take your head off in that time 70s jack tatum quarterbacks like jim everett were were scared were scared out of their underwear playing every week chris dolman the guys that take take your head off but now you know hitting the quarterback barry touching him is a different league a lot of these guys playing today in those systems man you know the quarterbacks was getting killed guys are getting killed it's the same way now with guys sleeping with girls in the industry it was a more known thing you know a, a, a lady being pounded out and uh, all of that that wasn't that big of a deal back then but in today's world that is a big deal now you have people coming out of a out of a time where it was more okay to sleep with your boss and it's not now so guys need to know that what you do now it can really rush what's going on you gotta stop that deal with these women as if they're all gonna tell on you all of them are gonna tell it's the only thing you do they're all gonna tell you once you know that you'll move accordingly women you work with women you do business with you know that work for you especially no relationships no sexual relationships you're gonna suffer bro so guys what do you think it's your boy Shady jackson back at it again with an episode of celebrity junk which you already do subscribe to the bell we're out <laughs>